hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel in this tutorial i am going to show and discuss how we handle the http authentication by using the playwright okay so first let's understand what is the basic authentication what is the http authentication and how we know this is http authentication or not okay so here is one sample url you can see if I navigate this URL, we will see one dialog pop up where we need to enter username and password. Then we enter into the application. So for this application, username is postman and password is password. Click on sign in button. Then you can see I am getting authentication. Once open the browser and once we uh, save uh, enter the username and password, now it is saved in the cookie in cache and if i uh, refresh again and again we will get authentication but for that first time when we open the browser and navigate the url we will get this pop you can see so when we are getting this pop up so this is basically known as the http authentication pop up and we need to handle this so if we talk about the selenium web driver selenium web driver has not any feature by using that we can handle this pop-up authentication so we depend upon the some plugins some chrome plugins some other uh, approach uh, some uh, different UI, uh, tools libraries we can use to handle this http authentication pop-up in selenium but now if i'm talking about the playwright playwright has some features by using that we can handle this okay so let's see how we handle this in a playwright I added here one test right uh, HTTP authentication now if I go in the playwright uh, official sites right you can see here uh, one we can apply this HTTP authentication under the uh, config file second approach we can directly use this HTTP authentication in your test script so let's see how we handle this. So we need to call this browser and then dot new context. And here we need to pass HTTP authentication, uh, HTTP credential, okay. And then pass the username and password. So first is the username, username, this is postman. Okay. For this application, what I am going talking about the postman, its uh, username is postman. But in your case, maybe you, your username and password is different. Okay. Generally, developers they are uh, disable this when we are testing in the lower environment. But some companies they are not disabling. We need to handle this. So that's why we need to write such code which will automatically bypass our HTTP authentication. So this is the new context object is created. So let's store in a constant in a context object. Okay. Now by using this context object, we can create a new page. This gives us the page object okay first of all i need to close this here right this closed now here i can create new page there is a new page method use this okay so now by using this page object we can right navigate the url so go to method pass the url so basically url is we have here postman echo.com slash basic auth so pass here okay when we navigate then it's giving you a value which is coming under the body tab let me get the text so that you can see also what value we are getting 
पेज डॉट लोकेटर बॉडी डॉट इनर टेक्स्ट here i need to use the await here also need to use await okay store in a this text let's store in a variable text and let me run the log the value so log like this okay so now i'm going to run and you will see in the output running in debug mode okay then click on next next page is opened right if i move the next it will navigate the url url is navigated and you can see here i am getting authentication why because username and password is already added so it passed this username and password when it, it navigated the url okay let's see next this is a text value text we can see authentication true okay so now here uh, you can see the output is also printed on the console so same output what we are seeing in the page so now let's disable this right okay so comment it here now now i'm going to run and you will see it will fail right log uh, message you can see invalid auth credential so it's not login successfully so we need to use here authentication so let me run in the debug mode next next page is opened here so next it will navigate url and you can see pop up is authentication pop up is here coming because it's not automatically handled this and now test will fail okay so this is one way we can use http authentication directly in the test script right but if we want to set up this at a global level we can set up this also okay copy this let me cut this go to the playwright configuration file under the use section add one entry http authentication so if we are applying this on in the config file playwright config file then this will this username and password uh, apply the globally now if i run here the test you will see it will run successfully yeah, you can see authenticated okay let me run in debug mode so that i can show it 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 is so that i can show it will authenticate open the page navigate the url and here you can see authenticated true so this uh, http authentication we can pass in a configuration level as well as we can use this http authentication as a test level hope this will be helpful how we handle the http authentication in the playwright if you like the tutorial click on the like button subscribe the channel and share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues as well as leave a comment if you have any questions